I'm Gemma Chandler and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this bunny bunting. It's perfect for if you're having people over at Easter and you're going to host a meal or you're going to have an Easter egg hunt with the kids and they can put it up and decorate. So what you're going to need is three pieces of plain card. We've chosen brown, black and white but you can choose whatever colours you like. Um, a pencil, a metal skewer, some scissors, some little pom-poms for the bunny's tail, string, glue and blue tack, a glass and a milk bottle top. So the first step is making our bunny rabbit template. So we're just going to take some plain card and we're going to begin by drawing around the top of a cup. So we'll start by drawing around. And then we're going to take our bottle cap and just slightly overlap it to make the top of the bunny rabbit's body. And then we're just going to freehand sketch some ears onto the top. Once you've sketched your ears, take the scissors and cut around the edge of your drawing to create your bunny template. The next step is we're going to take our bunny template that we've just made and we're going to place him on the back of our card and we're going to cut out lots more bunnies like this one. Fold your card in half, place your bunny template on top and draw around in pencil. Once you've drawn around, simply cut them out. So once you've done that, you want to continue doing so until you've got enough bunnies to fill your bunting and make sure you've used all the different colours you wanted to include. So the next step, um, we're going to be gluing our bunny rabbit tails onto our bunny rabbits. Um, these are just mini pom-poms you can buy in any good craft store. So what we're going to do is take a bit of PVA glue, dab a little onto your pom-pom with the paintbrush and stick it to the bottom of your bunny. So you should end up with some bunnies that look like this. Um, they'll just need a little bit of time to dry. So if you just set aside and let the PVA set. So for the next step, we're going to make some small holes in our bunny rabbit's ears. So just at the top about here, take some blue tack, place it under your bunny's ear, and then we're going to use our metal skewer to carefully pierce her ear. So he'll look a bit like this, and you want to do it until all your bunnies have got holes in both their ears. So now we're going to thread the string through our bunny rabbit's ears. So we're going to take our bunnies, take our string, which you just want to be the length that you want your bunting to end up in the end, and we're simply going to string it through the ears. Keep threading the string through the ears, remembering to pull all the slack through. Alternate your colours to your taste, and once all your bunnies are on the string, then ta-da, you're finished. Hang them on walls, between doors, or drape them across rooms to give your home that true Easter feeling. And if you want to have a look at more craft ideas and family fun, go to goodtoknow.co.uk forward slash make it easy.